Greetings and welcome back to some more Tomb Raider 3. Now, I am not going to start this off with an absolute bitch fest of how long it's taken me to get this running again. And actually, I'm on a completely different computer. I cannot believe that my shitty ass old computer is doing a better job of running this game than my newer laptop. But anyway, the reason I'm saying that is because what I've had to do... You see those Ludgates one? That's an old, that's an old playthrough from about a year or, or two back. And basically what I've just done is I've gone on the computer and done level skips to get back to where I was. So in terms of equipment, in terms of everything I've picked up and done so far, yeah, that's not going to be reflected in what I'm playing now. But, it, you know, um, given the spoiler alert, we're going to lose our weapons in the not too distant future. It, it really doesn't matter for the first section of Tomb Raider 3. Anyway, this is enough of a ramble. Let's get playing. Right oh, so um I don't know if I bitched about this at the end of the last level or not, but I've never been particularly fond of the vehicle levels in Tomb Raider or certainly in the Crystal Dynamic I beg your pardon, in the core design era because it's very stop and start, you know. Once Crystal Dynamics take over and you've got the um you've got that wonderful motorbikes, well actually there's two of them, I prefer the first one but you know they're kind of similar, uh, where you're just running and leaping over things and um, uh, shooting people and that's fun. With with core it was always very stop and start with the possible exception of the bowl although even you know the, the, the setup to the actual main event with the bowl is very stop and start but you know that was more about puzzle solving whereas in this game and the last revelation, you are stopping and starting if you want to have a look in every nook and cranny and, you know, like even just progressing through the level. Which is a shame, actually, because going crazy on a quad bike is a heck of a lot of fun. So, we are going round... I don't think there was anything worth picking up here. So, I think it's just a case of going straight ahead to... Ugh, right, I'm round here. <sighs> It's actually a pretty horrible colour for a bike, although, you know, maybe it is kind of going for a sort of camouflagey colour. Which, fair enough. Right, oh, oh, crap. No! Right, oh, well, that's probably going to happen a few more times before we get through this section. <laughs> It's quite a nice waterfall effect. I mean, it's it doesn't look at all like water, but you know, like the the way it's transparent, that's pretty cool. There's something fun about standing inside waterfalls. I love doing it in Rise of the Tomb Raider because it looks cool. Oh oh, come on! Oh, ah, ah. oh you can boost, can't you? Um, I don't know, what's the, I think it's, no, that's duck, I'm sure it's, no, I'm sure there's a boost button on here somewhere. Come on, Lara, get back up. Now, do we jump over there now and then get off? Hell, let's just do it. I can't remember if we jump over there as well. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, there's there's some, there's an opening to the. Yes. So maybe we have just. How do I? Yeah. Okay. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I think this is what we're doing. Hiya. 
still can't go over how big those snakes are. And they, re they do return in... Um, I, I have played Lara Croft Go, it's incredible amount of fun, but oh my god, the size of the snakes in that one. Whew. Oh, there's a drop there, and I think we have to... That's either where the bike is or where we... Oh! Did he get me? No, he didn't. Good. Um... Alright, so that's... what's that? Is this where we're going? Right, well we've got a safe crystal. Um... <clears throat> Where's this? Oh, alright, okay. Okay, so all that just to open the... Oh, hiya! So, I don't... Right, so we have to bring the bike back this way and then head down one of these directions. Is it? It will be up this way, won't it? But then there's this way as well. But then this one takes... Yeah, this one leads down to water. Which we definitely don't want to go because our bike has a tendency to explode the minute it comes near water. Yeah, right, okay, so what is... Oh, this is... Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um... Well, this should hopefully take us to somewhere... Oh, shit, fuck me. Oh, no, they're everywhere. There's got to be a bit I can get back out. Oh, bugger me. Oh, I've just fucked myself, haven't I? I'm still getting pulled by the stream. I mean... Right, okay. Well, that was silly. Um, oh, wonderful. Wait a minute. some ammo. So would this be a secret? Oh, this music's pretty awesome. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Can you see just about halfway down the load menu there, there is flares. So how the hell am I supposed to get the flares? I think, uh, yeah, I think I've got the, the dash button sorted. Well, I mean, it's the same button that Lara dashes because that's how logic works in computer games. Oof. What does that actually look like? 
It's like a stone encased in some kind of metal thing or something. Well, it looks like a bit of an angry face, actually. Right, let's try this again and let's absolutely not go down the way of the water. Can we grab that? I probably didn't need it, but whatever. Oh dear. Oh, oh! <gasps> I hate the quad bike. Oh, it just kind of disappeared out of existence there. <sighs> okay, let's do this again. Right, so we do have to go charging ahead to get over that jump, but then we need to... Oh, shit, fuck me. Right, where are we going? Right, around here very carefully. Oh dear, oh no, oh no, oh no, I don't like this, I do not like this, I do not- No! <sighs> you know, I was just thinking that I, in the quad bike's favour it does handle better than the snowmobile. I'm not so certain, actually. I'm not so certain. Come on, come on. Right, where are we? We're leaping over a gap there, aren't we? Okay. Come on. Oh, right, okay. Okay. We're making progress, we're making progress, we're making progress. Um. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> right, let's see. Is this is this one of these Tomb Raider three bullshitty things of going in different directions? Oh wait a minute, is this just a wee circle? Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you know, that kind of weird wood knocky thing that. There's something weird about the footsteps on this level. Um, I've said in the past that core design are really good with sound, but there's something a bit off about this level. Her footsteps just don't feel right for the kind of ground that she's on. Uh, right, so I mean, clearly we need to come this way because there's stuff about here, although. How do we get up there unless we're going up to higher ground with the. There's some ammo over there of some description. But the, oh, how do I get back? Maybe the other path is a way of getting up higher. Oh. Is that the same path as this one? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, so up that ramp. I keep hearing what sounds like insects buzzing. I don't mean the crickets and that. It's, it's like there's flies buzzing about. It just kind of adds to the kind of grossness of this place. Sorry, I mean the natural environment. That should be easy enough. That's the famous last words in Tomb Raider, isn't it? Oh, this should be easy enough. Oh. Damn it. Right, 
Right, okay, we, we need to um, do all of that again because we need to, like I shouldn't have done that carefully, I should have just charged forward. Oh god, where are we? Alright, so this area was just stuff that we could drop, drop down into reasonably safely, right, okay. Okay. I know core design versus crystal dynamics is quite a um, a touchy subject with Tomb Raider fans, but honestly, I would take Legends bike stuff over this. This isn't fun. This is tedious and irritating, and yet for some strange reason, core design kept coming back to this kind of approach to vehicles or vehicle levels. Although mercifully in, in Last Revelation it is, um, oh, uh, it is um, reasonably painless. Right, okay. Oh, there we go. Right, so um, we have to climb down, uh, presumably for more than just the, those weapons, because I'm not seeing where else we would take the... Oh no, we have to jump down across there. Come on, Lara. There we go. Snake or so oh yeah, probably a snake or something lurking in here. Can't blame them for being pissed. Is there anything else in here? Nope. Um I don't know why I'm bothered. I mean presumably this is secrets that I'm unlocking. Um, but, you know, we're going to lose all our ammo. We will do Arizona first, because there's really no point in building up your weapons over the course of a game and then just losing them all. Like, there's nothing else down there. So we're jumping over there and that doesn't look at all hazardous. Actually, let's save because uh, I don't fancy doing all that rubbish again. Right, so rev it up and then... Ah. Oh, oh my god, I thought that was water I was going into. Right, and I think we're aiming for that bit in the corner. Oh, oh we have not just fallen right down into... Oh no, this is a new area. Oh, good. They are not quite as creepy as the eagles in... Oh, good, there's two of them. In uh, Tomb Raider 2, because they were just absolutely terrifying. But um, they're not that far from it. Oh, no, it's not actually eagles. It's, it's um, uh, vultures, isn't it? What is up here? Oh, it's just the, is this just the, the jump that we, yeah. Huh. 
so... Oh, balls. Can we still jump over, like, just regularly jump over there? Is that... Although I do know there's more stuff just down up where the bike is. Oh, we can! But... Hmm... Camera angles are ah shit. Right, okay. I think there's some more stuff down on the ground by the bike that we can explore. Actually, let's just leave the bike up here for now. Because I'm still not unconvinced I screwed up there. But then again, this is quite... Oh. This is quite wide, so presumably we still... Those bloody vultures. Where are they? Oh, fuck. Oh, is this this? This is the end point of the level, isn't it? Because we climb in up somewhere. And then we end up in that maze. Well, let's just have a another look. I mean, I'll say this for two major three. At least it feels it. It does. I, I think they do properly nail it in f um, four, but they're certainly on the way with three, where things do feel more like natural environments. You know, with like sort of bumpy, like hills and uneven ground and. Um, you know, things just feeling more like they've come together naturally rather than um, by the whims of a game designer. So we don't need the bike. I mean, we could ride the bike, but we don't, as far as I remember, we do not need the bike now. Although, is there stuff over there? That, oh, there's items there. Oh. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, Lara, shoot the damn bird! You are having a laugh every vulture in India out to get Lara. <sighs> okay, let's have a wee jump over here. Oh goody, and there's some harpoons as well. Why do we ever need harpoons in this game? Yeah, it's in behind the waterfall we go, but I don't know if I'm seeing... Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. So if I'm... 
Awesome. Yeah, I think I've kind of screwed myself there, haven't I? Well, I haven't, but I don't think I can get back up there. So I think we'll just have to... Maybe it wasn't actually to get anything. Maybe it was just a way down, although why would you not want to swan dive? Yeah, there we go. 15 minutes, my bloody hours. Audacity says 36. But still, I mean, oh, but secret zero of five. Oh, come on. Kills 11. Ammo use 205. Hits 198. Health pack zero. Well, again, because I used the thingies. <sighs> um, yeah, I, I thought, oh, God. It's hard to get enthusiastic about this level because it is actually rubbish. I mean, I, like I said, Crystal Dynamics and oh, I beg your pardon, uh, Core Design and their insistence on on uh, vehicle levels that are very stop and start and stop and start, and you have to get off of them, and then you have to get back on, and you have to get off, and then you have to get back on. I mean, it's irritating, um, and and I really wish that they'd listen to some. Well, do you know something? I mean. IDOS were constantly pressure, pressuring them into making another game and making another game. Maybe they, maybe they genuinely just didn't have enough time to sort of stop and listen to feedback, you know, from players about what they liked and didn't like. Um, and they just kept pushing forward because, you know, it, uh, they, they never really do anything to, um, to improve upon the, the, the issues in the previous game's vehicle levels. Um, there is another little quad sequence in Arizona, but thankfully it's kept to a minimum. Um, I don't, oh shit, I was just about to say that we don't have any other vehicle stuff, but I was forgetting about the canoe. Yeah, oh, oh good God, and there's that awful thing in the London levels as well. Oh my God. So I guess we're not done bitching about the, the, the vehicles in this game. But, you know, I, I will say that, that this level does still have that very natural feeling. It's, it feels kind of like the, the environments that you're in and the, the kind of ground that you're moving along. It's kind of come together naturally and then things have broken away and all that. You know, like sort of natural erosion rather than um, we need this platform here, therefore let's put it there. Um, so I suppose that's something in the level's favour, but oh my god. God, it just, just awful. <sighs>